The 31st episode in the production order of Batman the Animated Series is the Cape and Cowl Conspiracy. This one features the first official appearance of the Bat Signal, a new villain, John Reese davies and an ominous tone. The ambiance surrounding this installment creates an atmosphere that feels different from most other episodes. It's a game of one-upsmanship that gives us a few surprising turns along the way. Hosiah Wormwood, aka The Interrogator, is a well-known criminal who just stole a collection of bearer bonds meant for humanitarian aid in Eastern Europe. He has a signature way of getting information out of his victims, and in this case, he used quicksand to nearly kill the courier who knew where the bonds were located. Commissioner Gordon gets Batman on the case, and this leads the Dark Knight to Baron Vaklov Josek, an associate of Wormwood. Through some interrogating of his own, Batman embarrasses the Baron, which leaves Josek seeking revenge. He employs Wormwood to capture Batman and bring him his cape and cowl. Locked in a battle of wits and death traps, the caped crusader and the interrogator meet several times as Batman's identity hangs in the balance. I like the idea of this villain, an almost jigsaw type with traps that outsmart his targets. His design doesn't give him any distinct look, which I think could have helped this character stick around beyond just one episode, but he has some Riddler traits, leaving messages in paper and billboard form. But his appearance, voice, and backstory don't set him apart from just being a slick gangster with a gimmick. It's like they wanted to go further with him, but for whatever reason, kept him as a more standard thief. A shame, I think there was some potential there. The locations in this episode are one of the best things about it. A creepy mini golf course, a locomotive themed amusement park called Train Town, and a wax museum give Batman interesting places to battle the interrogator. It's a decently good looking episode with some really nice backgrounds and set pieces. Plus, you can't beat the first appearance of the Bat Signal. Got a new toy, I see. They use John Rhys Davies for the first and last time in the show as the Baron character. I want the Batman's cape and cowl and I want you to get them for me. He has a few scenes, but I mean, you couldn't think of anything else better to do with him. It just kind of feels like a waste. The Baron gets humiliated by Batman in front of a full banquet where he's the guest speaker. Batman just swoops in and grabs him in the middle of his speech. Seemed a little out of character, but it doesn't negatively affect the episode. This one is memorable for me because we see Batman unmask. Kind of. Luckily, he had on a blue Iron Fist bandana underneath the cowl. It's a very unique moment to see him like that, which is probably why the image has stuck with me for so long. This story is based on Detective Comics number 450 from August of 1975, called The Cape and Cowl Death Trap. One of the writers on that comic, Elliot S. Magan, also wrote this episode. I'm going to go into a pretty big spoiler here, so check the episode out if you haven't already. There's your warning. Okay? Ready? Here we go. Near the end, we see that the Baron is actually Batman in disguise. What will you do with the cape and cowl? I am going to wear them. Obviously, it wasn't him the whole time, but we do see Batman use this tactic in another famous episode. He was trying to get the information from Wormwood on where the stolen bonds were placed. Not his usual way of doing this, but it's a fun enough reveal. The climax takes place in a gym, and they made good use of the equipment for their fight. At the end, we see Batman get one more jab in at Wormwood after he's put in prison. <gasps> Not a bad episode. I liked it quite a bit, despite some of its untapped potential. And now, my friends, with May at an end, I must bid you adieu. Bat May is finally in the books. Thank you guys so much for following along with me this month as I covered the first 31 episodes of Batman the Animated Series. It's a deep dive on this show that I've wanted to take for years and I'm very happy that I was given the opportunity to do it. But even more fun than getting to create these videos was getting to talk to you guys about the mutual love that we all have for this show. That by far was the best part of the month for me and yes, I've heard your concerns about a Bat June or Bat May 2021 or any other type of themed months that we might be doing. Well, on my personal channel, youtube.com slash awesomewalter, I will be putting up a Q&A video about the future of Bat May in the relatively near future, so make sure you subscribe to my channel to see that video and leave any other questions that you might have about the series below here on this video or on my Twitter or on my Facebook. Uh, you know, a little birdie even told me that some people that might be associated with the creation and production of this show might have been following along with some of Batman, and that absolutely blows my mind. If that's true and anyone out there is watching 
thank you. <laughs> thank you so much for creating the best version of Batman that there ever was. Thank you to all the creators of this show. Thank you to everyone who watched it. And I will see you guys very soon, both on my personal channel and right back here on Channel Awesome. See you guys.